Take a moment to think of some products that you use on your body every day. At a very young age, we were all told to brush our teeth, wash our hands with soap, and use hand sanitizers when we're on the go. What you might not realize is that hidden in your hand soap, as well as many other products, could be an abundance of harmful chemicals that interfere with your endocrine system. The endocrine system releases hormones and affects growth and development in your body. The chemicals found in products that harm this system are called endocrine disruptors. One of these endocrine disrupting chemicals is triclosan. Triclosan is an antibacterial chemical found in soaps, hand sanitizers, toothpaste, detergents, toys, and even pesticides. Its main use in soaps and personal care products is to help get rid of the germs on your hands. However, triclosan may be doing more harm than good. Scientists have concluded that antibacterial soaps can actually be dangerous since they can possibly prevent common antibiotics, such as amoxicillin, from being effective due to the development of antibiotic-resistant germs, also known as superbugs. The damage doesn't stop there. Triclosan has also been known to impact thyroid function, harm the immune system, and even alter hormone regulation. A study in mice showed that exposure to triclosan caused liver tumors. When pregnant mice were exposed to triclosan, their offspring had irregular skull development, as well as decreased fetal weight. Triclosan causes the male and female thyroid hormone levels in frogs to act differently than they should. These thyroid hormones play a key role in human development too. With all of this negative impact on animals, imagine what triclosan could be doing to us. The inclusion of triclosan in many antibacterial products does nothing in regards to the overall effectiveness of the product. The FDA has even admitted that there is nothing in antibacterial soap that makes it any more effective at stopping germs than just plain soap and water. So why add on all the extra chemicals when plain and simple would do just the same job? A study showed that on average women use 12 products every day and men use 6 products each day, which adds up to an average of 168 chemical exposures every day for women and 85 for men. But don't worry, there are many ways to reduce or even eliminate your exposure to triclosan. Avoid using products that have triclosan, antibacterial, antimicrobial, or microban on the labels. The good news is that once you stop using products with triclosan in them, the accumulated triclosan will leave your body rapidly. Use regular, non-antibacterial soaps and wash your hands for approximately 20 seconds, or as long as it takes to hum the happy birthday tune twice. And don't forget to spread the word. The more people that know about the dangers of triclosan, the better. Remember, the actions you take greatly impact your surrounding environment. Removing triclosan from your life is not a difficult decision. There are plenty of alternatives even in your local supermarket. This is a small decision with big impacts on your health. Act now rather than later as prevention is the cure to many health issues. Making conscious decisions will ensure you live a healthy and happy life. We'd like to thank the Huntington Breast Cancer Action Coalition and the Children's Environmental Health Center at Mount Sinai Hospital for their help in producing this video.